Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another beautifully early-ish stream for today. The last stream of the week. Um, and today we'll be drawing a Kirin, which is a, well, I like to think it looks like a unicorn and a dragon mushed together. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Once I've done my stream, we're going to be doing some sketching and stuff, which I might post up. And I'm finishing my Orthros author character, or creature, which is a two-headed dog. I've been working on because I missed that on Tuesday because of graduation. But yeah, nice and, um, nice and cruisy. And I've officially got 300 people. 300 followers on Facebook. So that's definitely a big step. I'm going to make a little post thing about that later. Which is really cool. Um, and yeah. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is the construction lines, of course. You know, might be an annoying thing to do, but like, you know, it's really useful in terms of getting the shapes, you know, you, yeah, if you learn how to draw something straight off the bat, it's, you know, easy to draw it without construction lines, but, you know, if you've never drawn something before, always start with, you know, circles and boxes. Alright, so my Kieran's going to be kind of angled a different side to his body, so he's just going to be kind of looking over his shoulder. So coming down, his shoulder, like his torso shoulder is going to be like here. And then the leg's going to come down a bit straight like this. Nice long legs because he's a pretty majestic creature. And then the back leg. So we'll then and then to keep it on the same line, I'm just going to quickly draw this, this extra little bit of a floor line in there like that. And then we're going to have a little foot that would come down here. We're actually going to shift this a bit more this way. And then, because he's going to have a really nice majestic tail as well. So, roughness. And so some Kirans uh, have like really big bushy tails and some just have like dragon tails with like fluff on the end of them, much like a, you know, a, um, a, a lion sort of thing, so I really like the idea of the fluff on the end of the tail, it just, it, I don't know, it feels really cool. Alright, so, I'm gonna come down, and I'm just gonna come up, because they have quite long tails, when you look at the reference of them. Alright, so a rough picture, kind of looks like a dragon, but you know, it's not going to be a dragon. And then the horn, it kind of comes out of the forehead. Sometimes they have different shapes, like they go like this, but I feel like if I go like, like that sort of thing. Alright, and then I'm going to lower the opacity on that one. I've also just started in the next few months. I might look into little places that I can get like prints and stuff and start trying to get things printed out and whatnot. And then when my big art book comes in the mail, I can't wait. I'm gonna have like an opening video thing that that um you know I'm gonna open it on camera. So you can be like, oh my god, guys, look. That'd be really cool. But yes, there's lots of things that would be pretty, pretty cool. Alright, so I'm just kind of doing the more fleshed out part of it. And then, like, you know, horses have that really big cheek in there like that. And kind of comes up like that. Kirins, some of them have a lot longer necks than normal horses as well. Like they've got the normal, really long, sort of, 
you know, reptilian necks that dragons have. Just kind of bring it in there like that. And then, of course, he's going to be a little bit um, twisted. So we've got a, the underbelly just to show where that twistedness is. Like this. But yeah, Kirin's are like pretty much unicorns covered in scales. That's pretty cool. I mean, some of them also have more dragon-like features, but yeah. <laughs> like, some of them don't even have manes, like horses and stuff. But we'll see how we go. We might add some different things. So I'm going to add this this horn that kind of just comes out of the Kirin's forehead. Like this. And then they have excuse me like quite large ears so some of them have normal horses and some of them have more dragon ears so I think just for something a little bit different we'll go in with more of that that um that long dragon like sort of feel to it give it some more dragonness to it and then with the nose I'm gonna make it a little bit more dragon like like that and obviously you fix that up in a moment and then just you know continuing the fleshed out part of the body so let me end like this I'm gonna do this back leg first just because it helps shape the body and um, yeah so we're gonna go down and then it kind of goes like a little bit of a line and then it goes straight out into the foot. Now I'll do that that hoof hoof. Um so it's pretty much just like flat on the ground. Kind of like goes into like a little bit of a, a heel by looks of that in some of them. Alright. And they're quite skinny legs, really. Like, you know, like a horse would be. Just like. Like that. And then into the booty. The big Kirin booty. And then the tail. Like this. Oh my god, rats are so cute. Got two little baby girls. <laughs> and that was I gave them, um. Uh, cucumber, so usually you give them cucumber, but I chop it up into like little quarters, but this time I kind of cut it up in the little sticks, and then <laughs> one of them grabbed it and like ran, like full on with it in her mouth. It's pretty cute. So coming in, just bringing that, so these tails are quite thin up until like, but going in the butt, like that. I always imagine like it's coming out of the spine, so that just spine, it just kind of comes straight out, like you know, the tailbone. Alright. And then this other leg, I'm just going to kind of come in here like this. The foot comes in like this. I'm going to have to fix that hoof though. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to do that front one. So I've got to do the whole shoulder. Like, not the shoulder, but like the, the arm part. Because the shoulder will be in here. And just kind of, you know, the legs are a little bit wobbly. And then come down into the front of the foot. Like this. And then just kind of add the hoof part of it. Obviously, I gotta fix that because horse feet aren't exactly my my normal drawing skill. And you know, I'm gonna do the normal the foot up, so that means that it'll come in and kind of and then the the funky joints that we figured that you know horses have funny joints.
something like this. It's funny though because my reddies are learning to sleep in during the morning and like instead of like being up all night they get up at like lunch time and run around like mad children in their little cage. Or little, it's quite a large cage, it's a bird cage. Alright, so we've got a wrap out of our care in here. Now, I'm just going to give some more. Like that. And then yeah, that will come in like this. Alright, and then for the, for the hair, I'm going to just kind of start behind the... And just kind of have some like really just pieces of it to so, you know to um you know to show where the you know chunks so like you're not focusing on all the bits and pieces. So it's kind of come around and just gone like this. And then a few of the Kirins, they have bits of fuzz and whatnot on their butts before it comes down into the tail. And then the tail's all floofy. Kind of like a uh, griffin tail. All right, and then these feet. Most Kirin feet will have fur somewhere on them, so either their feet will be covered in like fur coming down here, which we'll see how that goes, or on their elbows and um, I guess just elbows, the, the back here. But for this one, I think I'll just add it to the legs. Like this. You know, and then when you, if you're doing it like this, keep in mind that the foot... Oops. Hoofs are interesting. Alright, big. Okay. That uh, the fur is not going to come out of the bottom of the hooves, like where the the, the middle part would be. Hoofs a little bit. Work that out in a second. All right. So then, when we zoom out, we'll see what we can do with him. All right. So. This foot, this looks a little bit funny because the uh, this foot's on exactly the same ground as the other one, so it makes it look like he's kind of balancing. So we can just like that. It's a little bit better. So it doesn't look like he's balancing on his feet, his legs. Alright, so nice little wrap out of our little Kirin and um, lower that one. Grab a new one, layer, grab a more ink solid brush. Maybe we should use one more like there. Alright, and then come in with a little, little bit of that and it's a dance. And um, then we're going to go over the top and add some more like cleaner lines you know to try and confirm sort of thing like this doesn't have to be a last layer it's just you know a layer that helps 
under helps you understand where things would go. We can have the ears and kind of have a bit more in them, and then the horn. Get a little bit this way. Oops. Like this. Into the nose. Have a big smile. Into the giant cheek. Mixing both of those creatures together. And then coming into the head that goes over like this. Now, the Kirins often have like a uh, layer of scales here. So we're gonna kind of add that in. And then the uh, nostrils. So you can either go more dragon or more horse. But I'm just gonna kind of go between. So like, you know, like this. And then the eye. So I'm gonna add just the circle for the moment. And because it's on the side, we're going to go like this. Except I'm going to go like this. Because then it looks kind of much friendlier. And then I'm going to wrap that bit out in there. <laughs> like this. She's looking at something. And then um, they have some, sometimes they either have like a bunch of scales under their eyes like this. It just adds that more scalishness to it. And then the the um the different coloured underbelly of the mouth. So I'll fix that mouth up actually. Much more creature like there. And then so for this hair I just kinda come in and bring it together. Now, because it's going behind her, it's going to kind of start folding in on itself. So. So, like, the neck of the creature is kind of, like, in here. So, the hair. I'm going to come out and just kind of start. Oh that piece is a little bit do pieces at a time because you know and but the hair's a lot like ribbons so you can go thin and thick on some parts like that and then you know take in consideration that it's all just going to kind of join up as well. There's going to be more pieces of it just kind of like little strands, big strands, all that sort of thing. And more coming in. And, you know, just, just adding those extra and remember it comes from this area so it's going to be kind of just a little bit wobbly in the lines from where it's coming from like that and same with this you know your hairline doesn't just uh, magically appear <laughs> Uh, 
add some stray hairs to make it look a bit more interesting. And some crazy pieces, oops. Like that. Now I'm gonna just There we go, much nicer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. And then into the leg. And I noticed with my uh, channel, I'm <laughs> mostly doing red creatures and yellow and blues. And I haven't done much green except for that basilisk. So my Kirin's going to be mostly green. Like you can change the colors of them and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, and then like the little little just pieces. And then this do his belly first, so it comes up like this. And that back leg that kind of join that joins into that where the this comes in here. Oops. Oops. Right. So I come in down into the pointy bit. I kind of like an ankle. That's better. Different creatures' ankles are different colours and it's kind of odd. There we go. And then thick to thin. Like that. Alright, so maybe this one's not gonna... It's gonna go behind as it comes around. So about there. Yeah. And then the back leg. My ratties are mischievous little critters. They keep getting in, like I'll let them roam and they keep getting in under the um between the cage and like the, the tray that you put the paper in so you can clean it up easier. <laughs> so it's like everywhere. So maybe. Like this. Little lines in there just for extra. Like this. And then coming in and doing all those feet. Thinking I might make postcards of the creatures or something. Like something sort of like that. Alright. And then what I'm actually going to do is add some smaller pieces in here like this some closer to the like this there we go and then come into the body and keep going the butt into the the tail oops not quite back in there just following the flow of it you know if you don't follow the flow when you're drawing it just kind of looks a little bit funny And then in here. But yes, when I get my very big art book for my challenge, I'm going to go in and tell you guys what I'm thinking about drawing and all that sort of thing. It'll be May when I get my book, but it won't be until June until I do the, um, the challenge. So I have a good, clean, clear month.
should be interesting. Alright, so now that we've got that in, I'm going to come in and do some more of this extra. This, not too much, just enough to, you know. And then this. Like this. Little. And you know, just heaps of different Oops, that did not flow. Just gonna like this, nice and bluey and everywhere. Well, not everywhere, obviously, but you know. See, because you don't have to always draw all the all the bits and pieces. You just need to draw like the chunks look really nice, like that. All right, so I'm gonna come in. Now, for Karens, they're mostly covered in scales, so this is going to be an interesting one, because, you know, I can't get away with not doing scales for this guy. <laughs> Although, I might be able to just insinuate the scales rather than do the scales. So when I do that, the underbellies don't really have scales on them. So when it comes in here. So I can come in and just add parts of the scales. So if I take that down, I'm gonna make a new layer just in case I accidentally not make it properly. Just kind of add say like shapes. If I go like this and then just Add a few bits, like enough so you can like see that it's a scale. Like this. Oh, that's a bit funky shape. And you know, then it says. The scales either he's mostly scales or he's not very scales. It gives interpret more interpretation to the your viewer or yourself really. And then you can add like single ones like Like this, and it goes all the way down. Well, sometimes they don't. It varies on what, how you like, you know. Some just go run along the back, and some go all the way down over the body. I guess it depends on how much dragon you want to put into your Kieran. I think they're also called Quillen as well. There's different names of the different creatures. Yes. Just tiny. Just insinuates he's not just the skin. I mean, you know, with dragons, you know that they're going to be scaled. There we go. And then the tail, just, you know, add a few ones down there. this. And then so when you zoom out, oh we've got to go a bit more up here. And that one needs to be oops, a little bit more like up like that. So there, our little current, whoop. Zoom out. 
And they're just, I've accidentally left a few open lines over here. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit easier for myself with coloring in. So I'm gonna merge these top two layers because they're both lines and it's basically the same thing. And come in and add my greens and things. So I'm gonna have the main like a really nice deep, not deep, but like moss green. Let's see how that goes. Not quite, it looks just lighter. That's better. And zoom in and just kind of fill it in. Oh, we're not on the line layer though, you know. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. Oh. And then make sure you're on zero and just kind of, you know, fill in the bits that don't want to be filled in by the paint bucket tool. Colons, I see most of the time I've represented it as forest unicorns, like they're special enchanted sort of things. Whoops. So they could be quite mossy. Some of them could even have like trees. Some of these lines aren't working. Um, trees and things, or their horn could be out of a tree branch. There's lots of different things you could do with them. Coming in, filling it all in like this. I'm so excited though because tonight's the first night of Supernova. Like, oh, Briz Gold Nova. And I'm gonna go see what that's all about. I mean, I haven't been to Supernova in like a oh, couple of years. I think I went, I went to Supernova when I lived at home. But once I moved out, I think I only went to one day or something. But this weekend I'm going to all three days, so it'll be really interesting. And it, I'll be um going around chatting to other artists as well as hanging around with my friend. Well, she's cosplaying as well, so she'll be doing other bits and pieces. But um, yes, so it'll be quite a fun little thing to wander around. I mean, the hard part is trying to work out how to get there, but I'll do that soon. After the stream, I'm going to go and, you know, well, do the washing because that's not yet to be done. And then, um, yeah, look up how to how to get there. So I'm excited and we go talk to all those artists and ask them tips on getting into the uh getting into making my own stall and that sort of thing and like you know taking down ideas for next year like posters and things and I guess start working on it okay so there's that fur Go going down into his tail not tail my bad his furry ankles the same color and sometimes you can also do the the Kirin, so they've got a line of scales down the back and that's all, and then you, you know, you change the colors up. Oops. Well, that didn't work. All right. Just filling it all in. Yes, I'm quite excited. This week has been like ultra full on. <laughs> Literally like, you know, I think Monday was the only day I had to just chill. I mean, I had uh, Wednesday, but like, you know, had friends over chilling all day, which was really fun. So like, Monday was almost the only day I've had to chill by myself and not have work or friends over and all that. But yeah, Mon and then Tuesday was graduation and I had a couple hours of work on and that was intense because for the graduation thing, like the setup, started when I finished work and then I had like to drive like an hour to get to the ceremony and that was scarily interesting um and then we had knackers for dinner which this week has happened a lot which is bad but you know 
But yeah. And then uh, yeah. yesterday we had on well, Thursday there was like working and then chilling and then got really really tired and I mean we went and bought some some special not special but like it was on special the co coffee ice cream that I haven't had yet it's like one of those the light sort of things and yes yes oops and then there comes today which we have I have a nice yeah well Alright, and then the body of this guy is going to be like a light green, like this. Oh, not the whole thing. Is he? I'm going to make his feet a, like a dark green to keep with that green theme. There we go. And then his horns also going to be like a light green. And then inside of his ear. Now this is the hard part, the rest of the body. So maybe more toward the yellow green. So if I go like a little. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. I like that. <laughs> more of a yellow green to just change it up a tad. Real nice. Yes, 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 yes. And then uh, a little bit darker for those back feet. Those back feet. I also might play some uh, PlayStation maybe today. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a new book as well, so it's like it's like a, I can't remember. It's a forgotten book or something. And it's kind of in cart, but like the opposite. Instead of reading things out of the book, she reads herself into the book. So that'd be interesting. Alright, so because green and yellow, make the eye more of a blue purple. To complement the drawing. And then the eye, not black, just a dark purple. And we'll zoom out and take a look at her. Looking good, looking good. Although I think I might make this horn just a tad lighter. Maybe a little higher. There we go. I'll fix that too. There we go. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And then I might come in for a bit of a light, sh a quick shade. So, I'll just start over here and grab my soft air brush. And then once I've got my soft air brush, um, I'm going to go and get a darker colour. So dark here and then change the huge ward blue a tad and just kind of do the base of that. And then lighten it up da, da, da. then do this yeah just doing bit the little pieces first are the easiest to do and then lighter for that piece in here and then the eye, it's a dark eye, like this, and dark this part of the purple, and then light for this bit in here. And then I'm going to merge that all together, maybe make a little bit darker. Just a bit to shadow the eye and then grab white and just kind of add a glow to the eyeball to make them more interesting like that. Nice 
Although I feel like this is not quite... There we go. And then I'm going to add a more strengthened line here, just giving it more shadow. So I've done the blending shadow, but then, you know, a strong shadow. It just kind of, that's a clear line of where that shadow is, I figured would work quite nicely. All right. And the shadows of everything else. Bottom of their mouth, their chin, their cheek. Just all of those bits and pieces like this. And the nostril. And the ear. I'm going to quickly just do the rest of it as well. So where I would put dark parts, I'm just going to... come in and just do that quickly with this color you know so I don't have to really change the color too much later like this oops we kind of went out of the line there oops and then the tail nice and down in there like this and then without the fur is the slightness like that too and zoom out and then come over and just kind of blend it all in. And just kind of blending it all in and I like that. There we go. Nice and nice and smooth. Here we go. Nice in here. Nope. Oh. Let me point that too. And dish part of the day. All right, and then zoom, zoom, zoom me out. And add some light colors, so lighter, and then toward the yellow. And just kind of pieces, because, you know, the back there like this, and then the leg, and then this leg, and then the tail. <laughs> My little raddies have come to investigate them a computer. But it's like no computer for you, Missy. Because, you know, they generally run on the keyboard and when I'm drawing in my own time, that's, that's okay. But like, when you're streaming... And they're being naughty, it'll change all the... No, no, no. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, she's run behind the computer. Like, it's just a laptop. Don't you want that, miss? Little reddies. Too cute. Cutest little critters. Alright, yes, yeah, so continue blending it in like this. What are you doing? 
doing? Naughty little rascal. Back over there. Just put her back over on her cage table because she's being mischievous behind my computer. There we go. Nice and like you could put a lot more detail on this one, but you know, this is just a quick drawing. Some of these I really can't wait to like add them to like a little thing. And they'll look really nice all together in like a little You have way too much energy, Miss. My little ratty's names are named by my my sister because I adopted them from her. Uh, is Sonic, who's a speedy little girl. She runs around like crazy all the time. And then Evie, who is named after the uh, the girl from Assassin's Creed, the, um, the female assassin. And she's quiet and like hides and stuff and is sometimes mischievous. Um what are you doing? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna start with the this part of the fur and just go darker for the ends. Not really You're being really naughty today. Come here. And yeah, start going lighter as we go toward the center. And then a bright yellow gleam just in the center there like this. And then same with the feet, although the feet aren't going to have like a bright right glare to them so it's gonna be more dark but you know a little bit of glare light to them oops a bit lighter they've just started like getting a bit more comfortable with um hanging out and not running away every time I grab, like, you know, go to pet them and stuff. Which they used to do quite often, sadly enough. Evie still does, but she is scared of cat. Alright, so I'm just kind of doing the base of the fur on the tail. And the end, the dark, dark colour. Which gives it easier to put the glare in the, the middle. Like this. And then when you come in and go lighter. Hopefully a little bit lighter because that's the main colour I've had. Just kind of. Like this. And then I've accidentally gone out here, so I'm just gonna like this, blend it in a bit better, and then lighter color of that in there, just in this part here, in the middle, and then blending that in. Alright, and then a really light, light part in the center. Here, that kind of just 
comes around like that, like where the main light is on that tail. Then when you zoom out, they look all shiny. All right. And then the same with this part. Okie dokie. So we're going to go in and darken it up. Darken it up. Like so. Draw the ends and where the shadow would hit. Like this. Grabbing that again and just kind of do it over here too. I try and do it all at once because then it's easier to come back later. And um that up there we go I'm gonna leave that top bit there it's gonna be the way the light hits so I'm gonna go lighter all this is gonna be like lighter in there like this And then this one's just going to kind of be heading toward that part in there. Very painterly. And even lighter up here. And then. And then once we've got that, I'm going to blend that in like this. And then go even lighter again for that extra sheen piece at the end here. And perhaps a little bit in the middle. And we're kind of just blending that in, making it all so it's not as splotchy like this then coming in over here and doing the same and then we're practically almost oops there we go done And when we zoom in, oh, I've accidentally gone over the face a tad. So I'm just going to come in and just do that there like this. All right. And then when we zoom out, there's our pretty, pretty Kieran. The eye isn't quite working for me. It's too pink for that green. So I'm going to go more purple. See if I can... That's a bit better. There we go. Alright. Um, showcase my pity pony. So there we go. My nice little Kieran for today's stream. Well, thanks for watching and witnessing the crazy raddies that are being naughty. Naughty raddies. And thumbs up if you like the video and thumbs down if you don't if you don't like it let me know why you know any improvements and then 
yeah, I'll be back on Monday to draw. Oh, wait, Monday is the last day, so number 30, which will be during a Seder, but I think I'm going to keep going. Not specifically every drawing a creature every day like I have been this month, but like doing creature and dragon tutorials will definitely be a couple days a week after this tutorial ends, like this challenge thingy ends, and I'll definitely be going back and updating some of the first ones I did because like my chimera was pretty terrible in my first stream it was only a sketch and it didn't really work out and yeah maybe go back and color in some of the ones I never finished but yeah uh, subscribe if you want to see more and yeah, um, we're having a fun time at Supernova. I'll take some pictures, pro maybe post them on my my social media sites and all the little things I buy. I'm not going to try not to spend too much money. But yeah, it'll be fun and talk to all those artists and go to this game thing. Yeah, so I'll let you know how it all goes. And I'll probably post a picture of my little naughties. Because <laughs> they're naughty as. And a few next days. And finish Orthros. But yeah. See you all later. And have a good weekend. And if you go into Supernova. I guess I might see you there. I'll be wandering around. Not really selling anything. But yes. See ya.